One life is saved, but hundreds have been lost. Rescue workers used a laundry tub to float this tiny baby to safety. One month old. As floodwaters rose above chest height, Coast Guard teams managed to reach some of the most devastated areas where towns and villages have turned into muddy rivers. They've described scenes of carnage most of those killed either drowned or were hit by falling trees or collapsed walls. President Rodrigo Duterte visited one of the worst hit areas at Surigal del Norte, where the airport was badly damaged. I'm tired of looking at the typhoon's aftermath because it's what I always see whenever there's a typhoon. I feel sorry for the people here. Around 400,000 people have been forced to leave high-risk areas that are uninhabitable or still vulnerable to flash floods or tidal surges. Many are now living in temporary evacuation shelters. Typhoon Rai swept in on Thursday with winds approaching 200 kilometres an hour, hammering a vast swathe of the country's central and southern provinces. It's the 15th typhoon this year, but by far the deadliest. The worst of Typhoon Rai might be over for the Philippines, but the storm is now menacing coastal communities in Vietnam, where already a fisherman has drowned and several boats have sunk. Ann Barker, ABC News.